Naoya Inoue is set to fight Marlon Tapales on December 26th in Tokyo, and pros have started putting some predictions out for the fight. Marlon Tapales knows that he's about to face a monster in the ring, but he still believes that he has what it takes to bring the monster down. Tapales stated, I want to fight Inoue. I want to prove to myself that I'm a champion. Not only that, but Marlon wants to be Inoue's next nightmare, and he stated, I'll be the Japanese monster's biggest nightmare this coming December at his own hometown. So glad my everyday training always goes smoothly. My condition looks good, as well as my stamina, durability, punching power, and quickness. By December during the fight night, I'll be better than ever. I'll be ready to be Inoue's worst nightmare. Even Sean Gibbons has confidence in Marlon getting the win in Japan. Sean stated, Marlon is known for his never give up attitude despite the tall odds. He fights at any given situation. He adjusts and never fears. He'll be coming for the monster. Marlon's been in Japan four times in his career. He is also 4-0 and he's going to be 5-0 in Japan when he beats Inoue. Marlon has definitely been putting in the work where it counts during training. Carl James Martin thinks that there are keys to possible victory for Marlon, and he stated, I saw his stanima. It's all good. I really hope he wins. Filipinos are supporting him. His use of the shoulder roll will be a huge advantage, which he also used against Murojan Akhmadaliev. I hope he gets to apply it in the upcoming fight. I see that it's going to be tough for Noya. From what I saw in training, he's very eager to win. His conditioning will be key because from there we'll see how long he can last, his stamina and patience. Liam Davies thinks that Inoue is going to win though and he thinks that he could even beat Tapales. Liam stated, I feel like Inoue is going to win. I expect him to beat Tapales. I feel like he could beat the featherweights. If I was him, that's what I'd be doing but my shot is going to come and I just have to keep winning until then. I genuinely believe it's gonna come. When, I don't know, but when it does, I'll be ready and make sure I become a world champion. Yeah, I believe I'd beat Tapales. I'm very confident. My fights have shown that I'm very comfortable with Southpaws. They suit me. I couldn't see how Tapales would beat me. It wasn't meant to be. Sometimes you have to be patient in life to get the things you want. I'm happy to do that. I just want to keep busy, keep in the ring as often as I can, and make sure the world titles are going to come. Maybe in Telford. I'm not really bothered where. I want to go to America. I've proved I'm the best in Britain and Europe, and I want to go and show the Americans that I am up there. Some people believe that Marlon is the monster that Inoue should be watching out for, though. How do you, how do you see now, that? Now, first of all, <laughs> he has to get by my other fighter, Marlon Tapales. Uh, that's true. So, okay. yes, we're that's not going to give him that opportunity okay. to talk about 26 at this point. Okay. You sit at 22, <laughs> deal with that first, and then we'll have a well, conversation. How about that one? How, how about that one with Tapales? How about that oh, one? Oh, it's going to be a great fight. The thing is, I feel like Marlon's different because Marlon's come from hard time, bad, you know, tough situations. And so he's not scared to go against. The odds being quote unquote against him. He's yeah. ready for this fight. So um uh, anybody's gonna find a guy in there who's not afraid of him at all. Even though he, he they call him the monster, no. <laughs> this guy's the monster. Marlon's the monster. Yeah. Edward Fulliang definitely understands what it's like to be in Marlon's shoes as the underdog, but he thinks that he can pull through. 
Edward stated, I was in the same situation seven years ago. I know what he's going through as an athlete, especially if you're being labeled as an underdog. The pressure will always be there. It's all about finding motivation in it, finding perspective, knowing that there's a lot at stake in the fight. Jerwin Ancajas believes that Marlon is about to shock a whole bunch of people when he steps in the ring with Inouye. Jerwin stated Topalis really looked great and his condition was every inch better when he was training here. Marlon's speed is going to be a plus factor. His great experience as well. In a way, can't count Marlon out. It's going to be a great fight. John John Estrada is Marlon's sparring partner and he thinks that Marlon definitely has what it takes to beat someone like In a way. Estrada stated, he's in very good condition. His punches surprised me because speed and power are there. Nothing is impossible if Inouye brawls with Topales. But even if they finish the rounds and go the distance, I would still go with Topales because he never lets up, punches a lot, closes the distance, and he is aggressive. I do not believe the people who say that Topales has no chance against Inouye because he's a two-division champion and he's training hard. He's preparing hard and is ready to fight. From what I experienced in sparring, he is very strong. Naoya in a way is not a fighter you want to sleep on though, and Nonito Danaire knows firsthand what's so dangerous about in a way. When it comes down to a lot of things, you know, I think the best guy that I face, and uh, maybe perhaps if I was younger, it might be a different story, but at the moment of, of who I am in this time, I, I would say Inoue is 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 the, the toughest that I've that I've faced or the strongest that I've faced. You mentioned Inoue is, is probably the potentially the best fighter in the What is it about him that I think it was like facing the younger me. You know, there's just a lot of a lot of similarities in terms of power, explosiveness, um, and and sometimes intelligence. You know, um, but I think a lot of it is uh, is given the um, the similarities is like is what makes it more difficult. Floyd Mayweather looked back on Inoue's fight with Donati, and he sees a lot of himself in Inoue. Kid from Japan, Anui. Mm -hmm. So when you see, he got the victory over Cool Boy Steph. Cool Boy Steph, he's not a heavy puncher, good boxer. But far as, you know, Anui, um, it was a Filipino fighter, he had fought twice, Donaire. So Donaire was giving, giving him fits in the first, first fight. And if I'm not mistaken, Donaire was somewhere close to 40 or 40 years old when he fought him the first time. Whereas, and he was in his 20s, so he should have, he should have knocked him out in the first fight, <laughs> fighting a guy, you know, like I said before, you know, at that age. What I need Anui to do is, I need, I need him to come fight in the U.S., random blood and urine test. I, I, I think he's, I think he's a hell of a fighter, a hell of a fighter, I won't take nothing away from him, hell of a fighter. And I, and I, and I like him because I see he take a lot of my, he take a lot of my stuff from my playbook. Luis Alberto Lopez definitely thinks that Inouye will come out on top, and he stated, It's going to be a good fight. They are both very good fighters. When Topales did the stick and move versus MJ, it worked. Now, does MJ have Inouye's power? I don't think so, but definitely I won't miss this one. Robeisi Ramirez is probably one of the pros who's most excited to see the upcoming fight, and he doesn't care how it impacts his career. Ramirez stated, Last time in a way fought, I didn't really have time to pay attention to what he was doing. I was so focused on my opponent. I will definitely pay attention to this fight. It's for all of the titles at junior featherweight between two champions. I'll be tuned in, but as a fan of the sport, I'm not even thinking about how it will impact my career. The only fight that impacts my career is Rafael Espinosa. After I take care of him, then I will figure out what's best for us. For now, my only plan is to watch Inoue fight as a fan of the sport who loves to see historic events like that one. After this fight, Floyd Mayweather talked about possibly having Inoue fight Kurmel Moton, and he stated, I can't really say who his style is like. You know, that kid from Japan, he's a hell of a fighter, hell of a fighter. And what we doing in today's time, we making dream matches, no different from when we did the Mayweather Canelo. We did the Mayweather McGregor, we did the Mayweather Pacquiao. We do the biggest matches out there, so in due time, we never know. It can be Motone, and you know, I don't really know how to pronounce his name, but the kid from Japan, if that's okay, you know, no disrespect. 
If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and check out some of our other videos on the screen right now.